uh, we tried predicting the weather with the eight parameters, uh, basically the input uh, shown down here, um, such as like date, time, temperature, and stuff. And our output were the 27 classes of weather. And um, and we'll talk, a little, we'll talk about this later, but the partial reason our models have a lower accuracy than present, uh, than um, predicted is because we had such a large um, range of classes and uh, the accuracy value um, is basically the frequency uh, with uh, our predictions and how it matches the labels. And um, during the model construction, we, we decided to use um, the linear regression model and the deep neural network model. And um, we also used a, another model. Uh, we imported another model online to as a um, as a standard to to cross check with and uh, to compare with. And um, so our data set is always first um, uh, organized and we put out a, a table. And as you can see here, um, the output is the the blue box in which we're trying to predict. Um, and the input is the the values um, and yeah the values set here so the eight parameters. Um, next, I think uh, someone else is going to talk about the the model road uh, roadmap. So I'm going to introduce the model roadmap. Firstly, we listed data sets using function independence package. Then rows and columns were selected for independent variables and dependent variables to form X and Y used for training. Uh, after the data processing, the baseline model used was a linear regression model. Secondly, we tried using an ANN multilayer model set with different values for layers and epochs. The final model use was a copy of model online, which is only for comparison. Uh, to evaluate the model, we calculate the accuracy uh, and, and graphs and com compare the mean square error and the accuracy value of each individual model. This is where we found that the most accurate model to be the random forest model from other developers. At last, we came up with a conclusion towards our models, finding that the multilayer in ANN produced lower mean square error value and a higher accuracy value. This means the ANN model is better suited in this situation, except random forests. So this is a correlational study. It includes the pair plots and the heat map of eight different parameters. But to find variables that had high correlation, this means we need to remove either the temperature or apparent temperature to modify our data set, because these two variables are essentially the same thing. And it can be observed from the plots that the cloud cover stays a constant throughout the whole data set, so it needs to be removed. So now it's my, <clears throat> my turn to tell you a bit about the modeling here. Our first model is a single layer model. We use the linear regression to model to fit the data. And you can see that here <clears throat> we have only, only one layer of 20, 27 neurons here, which is represented in 27 classes. The model finally tends to reach a limit at about the accurate. Uh, about 42% accuracy. Mm, next slide, please. And our next model is the multi-layer artificial neural network. We adopt, uh, we, we adopt three dense layers in this model. And it can be clearly seen that the accuracy of the model is a bit higher than the first the single layer model. And, the, and this accuracy tends to reach a limit at about 50%. So now we can do a we can do a little comparison of the of all those models. The loss the, the loss of the multi-layer artificial artificial neural network model is 
has a lower loss, uh, has a lower loss than the first model. So it's, its accuracy is higher. But it seems that the, both of these two models didn't didn't have a good performance on on this data set because <clears throat> all because neither of them re reached accuracy over than even fifty percent. So we imported so we imported another model to as a reference called random forest. It is its accuracy is is almost seventy percent on this model. So <clears throat> So because of this, it seems that we didn't, we didn't, it seems that the first two models is accurate enough. Okay. In conclusion, so our best model produced in this project is the artificial neural network, uh, except the random forest one. <clears throat> Maybe because of the, there are too many ambiguous classes for output. So the, our accuracy remained, remained just lower than we expected. Also from this project, we learned that the linear regression is not always accurate and does not represent most cases of real life application. <clears throat> so what we need to do is to choose the appropriate models for certain data sets. <clears throat> also plus, <clears throat> we choose too much more classes, even <clears throat> 27 classes for, the <clears throat> for this model. And they are somewhat too amb ambiguous for a simple model to fit. And even the most advanced man random forest model only reached about <clears throat> an accuracy of six, 68%. So <clears throat> yes. um, next time we should think more carefully about what which data to use as our output. <clears throat> okay, thanks for watching. <clears throat>